welcome back. We're here with Helen. Hi. Helen, you played a great game. Oh, thank you. You are the best. Oh, I wish I could have played a better game. I know. I, I, was, I was doing an impersonation of you in the house. You didn't get it? No. It was a bad joke. <laughs> I'm already off to a bad start. I thank you. I appreciate that. Coming from you, that's a huge compliment because I respect your game. And if mine was even half of your game, I'll take that. I'll you, take that. you did good, man. You did really good. That's you guys, you, you know, you rode the big ra uh, the big brother roller coaster. <laughs> yeah, it is. A, it is. I have a lot. Take of a breath. Here. You got a lot of energy right now. You know, one of the things going into the game was <laughs> I, I didn't want to get too much power too early because I knew the season was going to be extra long, and I know having power too early is too hard to sustain that long of a season. But unfortunately, because of Jeremy, I, I knew I had to win HOH to get him out because I didn't know if anybody else would do it. And it got me, gave me too much power too early, and it, it was just unsustainable after that. Right, because you guys were, you know, you guys were down. You and Alyssa were down and out. You we guys thought, down and You out. guys thought it was over. And then you got a little power, and I saw a little Helen muscle. You <laughs> yeah. were, like, flexing that muscle. H they call it HOH-itis. I had yeah. a little HOH-itis that week. So you realized you had a little bit of it. But I knew once he left the game, the house was going to change. I mean, just his presence was so big in the house and there was so much negativity I knew when he left the rest of us could just play the game you know and quite honestly I don't regret that move and um, you know it, even if I can't win this game at least I got him out <laughs> so do you think that that was my question for you what do you think is your best move was that it my best move uh, my, you know I think my best move was aligning with Alyssa you know she was the one person I could trust in the game um, even after I was evicted, she won HOH that next week. I really think had I stayed in the house, Alyssa and I could have gone much further in the game. Um, but you have to pick the right person to play with, just like you did. Right. And, and out of six, 15, 15 other house guests, I could have made a very wrong decision along the way. And I'm glad I picked Alyssa. Andy, on the other hand, I mean, I wasn't wrong picking Andy to be my other sidekick, you know. So you're happy about won. the decision tonight? Yeah, I am very happy. You know, I worked with Andy throughout this game, and, you know, obviously he was a good pick to work with, you know, and, and become close with because he won the game, you know. So I feel like I, um, I have good taste in players. I mean, Alyssa won America's Favorite Player. Yeah. Andy won the game, you know, and I won two great friendships. And, and, and then Oh, that was the cutest answer I've ever heard. I did. I mean... Andy, I've already told Andy, you're buying me a lot of dinners. <laughs> he lives yeah, very he close is. to me in Chicago, a lot of dinners. And, um, you know, Alyssa and I have already talked about going on family vacations and all that good stuff. So, you know, but I've made a lot of friends throughout the house. And, you know, I'm blessed to have even gotten on this season. Cause I you mean, were a big fan coming in. I mean, you were so excited. I'm, I'm the viewer, guys. I am the okay, viewer. Okay, that's perfect. Everyone out there is watching right now. Tell the viewer. How much harder is this game than people think it is? Oh, my gosh. First of all, these comps are ridiculous. They Under five minutes. The competitions look easy on TV. The, they're brutal. They're much harder than they look. And the house guests this season, they were all competitors. They were all physically, mentally, and socially capable to win this game. So you were playing with the best. I mean, I'm really happy that it lasted 63 days. I mean, I look at it as, man, I was able to stay long enough for 63 days because, quite honestly, um, this was a tough cast to beat. There and wasn't just one or two strong players. Like, everybody was strong. How do you feel about all the things that went down in the house? I know you kind of got a, a whiff of it, but uh, yeah, I know you have obviously haven't went back and watched the season. but I haven't gone back and watched the season. I've heard that I'm the recipient of some of these comments. You know, I'm, I, as a minority, all through my life, I've been made fun of. I'm used to these comments, and, I, and the way I've dealt with them and not taking them personally is I always try to kill them with kindness. And eventually, either they'll open their hearts and grow to love me, or they don't. But meeting it with anger is never the solution. And even in the house, I felt like, particularly with Erin, it was someone that I could teach. You know, she made these awful comments. They are despicable. But at the same time, you know, she's very remorseful. Right. And, it, and it's a place where, you know, yeah, you can meet her with anger, or you can meet her with an open heart and hope that her heart is changed. And if there's anything possible, Positive to come out of it, you've you've taught someone uh, a little more positive way. Absolutely. So what's next for Helen? Is there are we going to see life after Helen? Are you going to are you going to have some TV stuff, or are you uh, going back to the life of Chicago with the family? My, my, my you know, I I'm just a viewer. I'm I, I'm a fan. I'm going to go back to my wonderful husband and my kids. Hopefully, maybe have another baby, um, and then I'll just go back to work. Like you know, be you, you're making up for some lost time after this. I got to make up for some <laughs> lost time. Yeah. Um, I did quit my job to come on the show because I couldn't, you know, take that long of a leave but you know I've worked in politics for more than a dozen years and I hope to go back you know and you know 
grow my family. That's my goal in life. Awesome. Well, I got you a parting gift. I go to a dollar store and get everybody some. I usually take I a jab. I usually take a jab at people, but I just got you because oh you're God, such a good person on the show. I, I got you a number one mom pen oh with your gosh. picture on there. I love you. Oh. <laughs> I'll never use this. I'm going to, like, put it in, like, my trophy case I get home. Thank yeah, you well, you so did a good much. job, Helen. We're proud Thank of you. you. And Thank you. And you are the number one mom. Oh, you're well, the Well, number best. two, my mom's the best. Are you engaged yet? Oh, my God. All right, guys. I ask. Well, I'm, I'm going to interview you now. Are you engaged, Jeff? I'm not. We're, we're, we're running out of time, guys. We're going to be right back with another house guest. Thank you, Helen. Okay. You did a great job. Thank you, Jeff.